All the colors of 20 rainbows blended together. That's the way the Bangladeshis celebrate their new year. April the 14th, Shubu Nabu Barshul, probably not even close. And this is how the Bangladesh Embassy in Bahrain took this opportunity to announce more good news. Not only good news, but big news, which needs shouting out loudly for the world to hear. For decades, since the bloodbath of hard-fought independence in 1971, Bangladesh has struggled with annual devastating floods, destructive typhoons, and dependent on world aid. Unlike many underdeveloped countries, Bangladesh astutely used any gifted money for its very survival, and some, to the extent where Bangladesh has now turned a sharp corner, becoming self-sufficient, standing firmly on their own two feet, with manufacturing going through the roof from pharmaceuticals to ships, and even foodstuff in excess, foreign trade at an all-time high, and growing with aggression. The spirits are high, and hopes no longer dreams. Bangladesh has graduated, and they're doing it all by themselves. There are many things about Bangladesh that the world doesn't really know, and by means of their own modesty at times. Bangladesh knows full well their own shortcomings, and are making every effort to change their world standing. Furthermore, they're doing it remarkably well from equal rights, living standards, and infrastructure, making up one unstoppable program of progress. Today, Bangladesh has emerged as a development surprise nation in terms of the GDP growth and socio-economic parameters. The annual growth rate of GDP has hit record at 7.28% in the outgoing year when the per capita income surged to 1610 US dollars. Foreign currency reserve crossed 33 billion US dollars, while the country drew increased foreign and domestic investments. As a result of all these tremendous achievements, the United Nations has meanwhile announced to Bangladesh eligibility for graduation to the developing country status from the least development category. During the past decade, Bangladesh has made considerable progress in improving inf infrastructure, power generation, communication, and development of ports. The country's dream physical infrastructure project, the Padda Bridge, is being built with our own resources. And Bangladesh is now producing almost everything. We build ships, and we produce chips too. It's a matter of great satisfaction that today's women's advancement and their integration in the development process of Bangladesh are widely recognized and appreciated. Bangladesh has topped the South Asian countries in gender equality for the third consecutive year, ranking 47th amongst 144 nations in the Global Gender Gap Report 2017. We have made con education free for the girls up to grade 12 and we have the plans to make it through up to the tertiary level. We ranked seventh in the world in terms of political empowerment of women. In the current national parliament, there are 70 women parliamentarians. And you already know that our prime minister, opposition leader, the leader of the house and the speaker, all are women. Our achievements in international arena is also commendable. The contribution of Bangladesh in addressing the climate change issues is being acclaimed by the world community. Bangladesh has been one of the largest contributors in the peacekeeping missions under the United Nations umbrella and has earned image abroad as professionals and competent contingents. Our role in giving shelter to Rohingya people, as you know, that's almost one million, has been appreciated global, globally, and we could gather wide international support on this particular issue. Our expatriate Bangladeshis have also been making significant contributions to our national economy through their hard-earned remittances. It's a matter of great pride for our nation that UNESCO has recently recognized the historic 7th March speech, speech of 1971 by the father of the nation, Bangamundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, as part of world's documentary heritage. Mongol Shobha Jatra 
which is a mass procession that takes place at the dawn on the first day of Bangla New Year in Bangladesh. To express the secular identity of Bangladeshi people and to promote unity was declared an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in 2016. With all such success stories, Bangladesh is moving ahead to achieve Vision 2021 of the present government to become a middle-income country and Vision 2041 to become a developed country. And finally, I would like to conclude by greeting you in Bangla, Shubho Navabarsho, which literally means Happy New Year. Thank you very much. This is Geg Hopkins and Svetlana Protonova at the Bangladesh Embassy for the Bengali New Year celebrations.